Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode on Lee Baker's 1293 engine and gearbox build. On the last episode, we um, I fitted the gear set, central oil pickup. There's just a few bits to finish off now. So what I'm going to do, the next job is to fit this bearing, which is the input bearing. It only goes on one way, so if you, you, I don't know whether you'll be able to see on the camera, but that's tapered to one to end. It's slightly smaller this end than that end. The smaller side goes outwards towards the clutch side. So that goes on. Basically, you put it on so it's dead straight. Tap it on. Or get started. That's it. I get a little socket that will fit over that. It's a bit too big. And basically, put the socket over the end, tap it in. And you'll feel it come to a stop. Which is there. Now get your little circlip which goes on the end, got the circuit pliers. Screw it over there like that. On, that's on, done. Okay, the next job is to tighten up the central oil pickup. So get your gasket. I've already put the one on the on the back of the box. A little tiny bit of Hylomar. I don't use anything heavier than Hylomar for this. But you'll need a smear of it anyhow. Just to make sure you get a good seal for the oil pressure. Slide that in between there. it lines up two new bolts this one started the second one started Nick those up. They ain't gonna be mega tight, just nick them up. So yeah. next job, do up the nut and bolt. Half inch spanner on the on the nut at the bottom. Up. Done. Okay, next job is to fit the speedo drive housing. Now before I fit it, I've got to put the speedo drive into the housing itself. You can see that. So the first thing, a little bit of grease. Just stick it on the shaft there. Molly grease will do. The nut fits into there like that. Put 
bit of grease on your gasket. Like that. Place that on there. Keep your fingers wipe because I know they're covered in grease. Put your cap on, two nut bolts, New gasket. Which goes on that away. Put a bit of grease on there first. Don't need a lot. Just a smear. There like that. Speed air drive housing. Line it up with the end of the main shaft. He says That's it. Give that a bit of a tap on. Just put the bolts in. Another tip as well, always put your bolt in the top one here before you fit the speedo drive where the speedo cable goes into. Because if you put that on first, you won't get this bolt in. So I always put this bolt in first. Right, I'll just do these up and I'll come back on to the next step. Okay, next step. Fit your speedo drive. The second part of the speedo drive. That just slips in there like that. Gasket. Got some new gasket there. Little bit of grease on there. Pop that on there. Make sure I'll put it on this end. Put that onto there. This is where your speedo cable goes on. Pops in there like that. Retaining clip and bolt. Okay, right, the last job is the outer housing, which supports the bracket that supports the bottom of your rod. And also the passenger side engine mounting. So, just goes on there like that. Just come off. Get them into place. Do those up.
Right, this top one is a, a Phillips head. So what I normally do with those, I, I, I put them in with an impact driver because I, otherwise you can't get them tight enough. Let's get the impact driver out. Uh, move it up. Do it up as tight as you can by hand, and then give it a whack tight. So that's it. Uh, all I've got to do now is do the diff, which we can't do at the moment because nobody's got any four pin diffs in the country. So, um, the reason why I can get around it, I can get hold of a, a core casing for a four pin, uh, four pin diff brand new from uh, Guessworks, but there's no planet, planetary gears with them. So, um, there's a way I, I can sort of get around that, but I'll let you know on the next episode when I start doing the diff. Right then, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you on the next one.